Hi, in this video, we're going to introduce while loops in Carol. So remember, we want to repeat Carol actions sometimes, and we use for loops if we wanted to repeat something a fixed number of times. But what if we wanted to move all the way to a wall, but we don't know how far away the wall is? That's not a fixed number of times. So we need something else. Introducing the while loop. So while loops allow us to repeat a section of code as long as some condition is true. So while loop is repeat as long as a condition is true. So this is the format of a while loop. We say while, open parentheses, condition, close parentheses, and then the code to repeat goes in between a set of curly brackets. And so the conditions are questions that we can ask about Carol's world. We can ask if the front is clear, if the left is clear, um, if the left is blocked, are there balls present? Is Carol facing north? So a condition is like a question we can ask about the world and it ends in open parentheses, close parentheses, like a method. So here's an example of a while loop. We can say while, open parentheses, front is clear, close parentheses, move. And the idea is that we'll check the condition and then do the code in between the curly brackets if that condition is true. So let's go take this code and run it in our code editor. Okay, so let's write our first while loop. We're gonna say while front is clear, open parentheses, close parentheses, and then another parentheses. So remember these two open close parentheses go with the condition. Then we hit enter and we'll say open curly bracket, enter. And now the code that we wanna repeat goes in between these brackets. So we'll say move. So the code that we've written is while front is clear, move. And so let's run that code to see what happens. Great, so this code has Carol move to the other end of the wall. Let's try changing the size of the world. So if you'll notice, this code still will work on different size worlds, and that's because we're using a condition or asking a question rather than repeating a fixed number of times. So let's go back to our smaller world and use the step tool to really see what's going on. So first, we're at this line, line five, and it says, while front is clear. So let's look at the grid and we'll see, is Carol's front clear? The answer is yes, so we'll go do the code between the blocks. So we click step forward, and then we move. And now we've completed all the code in the blocks, so we go up and ask the question again. Is Carol's front clear? Yes. So we'll do the code between the blocks. We move. And now we repeat. Is Carol's front clear? Yes. So we move. Is the front clear? Move. Is the front clear? Move. Now we'll go back up. We still ask the question. We say, is the front clear? And the front isn't clear, so we won't do the code in the loop. So you click step and our program is over. So that's a while loop. Now it's your turn to use while loops in some of your own programs.